We are so close. To think that this bus was just alone and forgotten and we gave it some love and now it's gonna be a traveling queer book fair is, is amazing. And we only have a couple more steps left before we debut this baby at LA Pride. So buckle up, the book bus is coming. It is the day of the Pride Parade and we, uh, we've had a few delays. It's looking beautiful, but the paint is a little sticky because we were up till 4 a.m. last night, i.e. two hours ago, <laughs> um, painting. So now we have friends with hair dryers drying the paint. <laughs> so fingers crossed we have like an hour to get this ready. I'm worried the, the battery is like dead. I know we had the AC on all night long. It was just the fan though. I mean, the, all the lights went off. It was the 7.5. think we either call Drew, we call Bobby, or we have no lights. Well then I don't think we let anyone in. So right now I'm cutting up parchment paper for uh, to lay these books on so they don't stick like when you pull them up. Neat little trick. We have 45 minutes before you have to leave to get from Santa Monica to the parade in Hollywood. The books are still going up and the paint's still drying, but I think we can do it. I call this elbow grease. Because I'm using my elbows. Us is here. We're at LA Pride with our team and our friends and amazing queer authors. We're ready to strut. My outfit's on fleek, so let's do this. We are in a moment right now where we really need to remind people um, that freedom of speech and freedom of artistic expression uh, matter a lot. We're at a moment where people are trying to ban our queer books and be like, oh no, my child can't read about trans people, um, as if kids uh, don't struggle with their gender identity, as if kids don't struggle with who they are, right? As if they don't need role models or people who help them understand uh, who they are from a place of self-love. It was very inspiring to see a lot of bisexual flags in the crowd, that every year there's more. It was amazing to be part of today. I had some people in the crowd even yelling that they had read my book, which I did not expect at all. The coolest thing about today was that this like dad came and joined our group and was like, is it okay if my daughter marches, marches with you? She wants to march with you, she loves to read. And then she was like standing beside him with the sign that said, I'm not too young to know I like girls. It reminds you why you do any of it, you know? Yeah. Oh wow, oh my God, it looks so good. Um, I thought it was great. They did such a good job. It's so beautiful inside, and it's really fun to see kind of the like different genres that they're playing with and all of the different authors. Going into the Shop Queer Book Bus made me feel like I was a little kid in elementary school going to the Scholastic Books Fair, but everything was specifically for me as a queer person. All of my history, all of my culture, everything was in the bus, and it was rainbow and fierce and so fabulous. It made me feel really good to be gay. Last night, we slept for two hours, but today, you know, being in the parade with everyone, with all the support, getting to today view what we created made it so worth it. It's just a reminder that when you're queer, your family, 